Today, I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite products and things that I use to save money by doing my own nails at home. I try sharing my story to remind readers that there is a way out. That with hard work, dedication, determination, motivation, it's all about having a plan for your money. And that's what gives you the true control. Holy crap, it just changed my life. They're like, oh man, Nico. It takes time, it takes dedication. Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes on the products and things that I use at home to get salon quality nails without the salon quality price. So I get asked on my Instagram all the time if I do my nails at home, and I do. So here's how this kind of began. Back in 2013 when I was working with a really strict and tight budget, I had to go through and ask myself where can I cut spending so I have more money to throw at my financial goals like saving or paying off debt. And I quickly realized that the area that I could cut back was my salon visits. And one of the things that I spent money on was getting my nails done. I would go probably about once every two to three weeks and I would spend about $45 each time to either get acrylic or gel nails done. Now it feels really good and they look really good when they're done, but is it really worth the price? So I went out and I decided to see if I could get the same look at home. Today I'm gonna to be showing you, now I started off with using just regular polish and I did that for many, many years. Last year I broke down, I ended up buying my own gel kit from Amazon and it was the best decision ever. So now I do my own nails at home. I still switch between regular nail polish and doing my gel kit, but I'm gonna be showing you everything that I use in today's video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my entire nail kit set up and all the things that I use to do my own nails at home. Now, right now I have a pretty pink gel nail polish going on for Valentine's Day, but I'm going to be showing you everything from my favorite nail polishes to my gel kit to everything in between. What you're looking at, this big, huge bin of nail polish, I have been doing my own nails for many, 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 many years. And over the years, I have accumulated quite the stash of nail polish. In this bin is all of the nail polish that I tested out and it's okay, but it's not my favorite. So these are a lot of your cheaper, cheaper nail polishes. And as you can see over the years, I've just accumulated a ton of different things. The great thing about this, I got this plastic bin at Walmart. And the great thing is, is it stacks like this and it comes with a lid. And I literally just slide this underneath my bed. It's out of sight and it's just a nice way to organize all of my different nail utensils and polish. When I do my nails at home, I do my cuticles and everything. I also file my own nails, I shape my own nails, so I have a ton of my utensils. I have my cuticle oil. Now this is the gel, the lamp, the gel lamp that came with my beginner kit that I bought off Amazon. Now I've been using this lamp for over a year. I got, um, I'll put a link to the, the gel kit that I decided to buy. It's a great lamp, it works great. There's a button right here on the side that when you press it, you can do for 30 seconds or a 60 sec second cure. But it comes with a little plug in, you just plug it into a US USB outlet and that's how you use the lamp. And it, I have all of my metal utensils over here. So this is what I use to prep my nails before I actually paint them. So let me show you very quickly my gel setup. This is my gel nail polish stash. As I said, it took me many years to accumulate the amount of nail polish that I have, but this is the holder. Now I keep my regular nail polish and my gel nail polish separate, but I got this little holder from Amazon and it's holding all of my gel nail polish. Now out of this kit, my favorite gel nail, nail polish is this by Nail Co. I love it and it actually stays on for, I can usually get this gel nail polish last about three weeks and it's fantastic. These little white bottles are great. They're not as big in size, but it's also gel nail polish um, that I love using. So as you can see, I tend to gravitate towards either H&M or Gel Len. They're also very good. 
and I'm a very nude type of person. I don't wear a lot of bright colors. I wear a lot of the grays and the light pinks and the tans. So this is my gel nail polish holder and I'll put a link to this holder in the description of this video. But if you're not doing gel, here's what I recommend. Over the years, I have discovered a system that helps with chipping. So let me show you very quickly. I love the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Nail Polish. And with the top coat of the Sally Hansen dries instantly. With these two combined, if you do two coats of the Miracle Gel, now it's called Miracle Gel, but it's regular nail polish. You don't need a lamp to cure it. I can go about two weeks without chipping by combining these two. I love it. And I work behind a computer desk typing away every day, all day, and I still had really great success with this combination. Now, as you can see, I own quite a few of these bottles. And so this is what I use and this is what I gravitate towards if I'm doing regular polish. It's called Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Another brand of regular nail polish that I love is, and you can see I have quite a bit of colors for this as well, but it's called Color, St Color Stay Gel Envy. It's by Revlon. This is also, it looks like a gel, but it's regular polish. So Sally Hansen Miracle Gel and the Gel Envy, they look like you got your gel nails done, but it's regular polish. You don't need a, la a lamp to cure it. And so that's my, these are my two go-tos if I'm doing regular polish. And of course, my next favorite brand is Essie. Essie is more expensive. Um, all of these different nail, nail polishes are about five to six dollars a bottle. And like I said, it took me many years to accumulate the stash that I have. The Gel Envy by Revlon is a little bit cheaper. It's a little more affordable. I can usually find these in the clearance bin for around two bucks a bottle. And I don't usually buy my nail polish unless it's in the clearance bin at the store. So that's how I've accumulated so many of these different things. And as you can see, I have multiple color or multiple of the same color if I really like it because I found it in the clearance area. So that's how I spend money on my regular polish. And I do highly recommend the Sally Hansen dries instantly. It's so great if you do not have patience waiting for your nails to dry. It dries super, super, super fast. As far as the gel goes, I already showed you my gel polish. These are all of my gel polishes. I have a top coat and a base coat. Now, when you do your own gel nails at home, you have to do a base coat, the nail polish, and then a top coat. So I have my favorite top coat and base coat. I use Laguna Moon, and it's fantastic. It's also a soak off gel polish. Now, most of my gel polish is soak off, which means instead of peeling off your gel nail polish, which isn't the best for your nails, I soak mine off with acetone, 100% acetone. And here's what I use to soak off my gel nails. It's a kit that I got from Amazon and essentially it comes with these little pads. You soak them in the acetone, you cover your nail, and then you put these little clips on your hands. Kind of looks kind of funny, but it, they work really well. I soak mine for about 15 minutes and then I'm able to just um, wipe away my gel nail polish. So that's what I use, and I'll put a link to this product as well. These are This was very, very affordable. It was under 10 bucks, but you get all different sizes for the clips depending on your finger size, and I love this. And this is what I use to take off my gel polish. With the lamp, with the beginner kit that you bought, with that I bought, it comes with the lamp, it comes with the cord, and it came with four or five bottles of the small white polish that you're seeing. And it also came with some um, nail accessories for doing your nails, like it came with a little nail file and a cuticle tool as well as nail files. 
but it came in a whole different kit. The only thing with this light, and I gotta be truthfully honest, is it takes quite a bit of time to cure your gel nails because it is a beginner kit. I have recently upgraded to a new lamp that is a lot faster, but if you're just starting out and you don't wanna spend more than $30 to start doing your own gel nails at home, I highly recommend this starter kit, and I'll put a link to this gel kit in the description of this video. It takes me probably about 60 seconds to cure my nail polish, my gel nail polish, but I love it and it's what I've used for over a year now and it's worked great. So this is my entire nail setup and everything that I use to do my own nails at home. If I do regular polish, I like to change out my gel or my regular polish once every two weeks or so. With my gel, I can go a little bit longer. Now, I just painted my nails last night and I'll have this pink polish on probably for another three weeks unless I decide I wanna change my color. And then I'll just use my soak off pads to soak off the nail polish. But this is everything that I love using to get salon quality nails at home. If you found this video helpful, please share it and don't forget to subscribe.